So what so you're what telling, you're telling me, is me is you're single. So who's the special guy in your life? No, no, I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. I was just, you know, I just assumed, you know, since, you know, you are like, what, 30, 40, 50. I'm sorry, did that hurt your feelings? Get a dog, honey. You don't need a man. Nuh-uh. Oh, by yourself? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, well, right this way. You're single? Good. My name is Patricia, and welcome to the Singles Club. What up, guys? My name is Patricia. Thank you so much for joining me today. What's up, you guys? I'm so excited that you decided to do so. This is actually going to be a Singles Club video. I know. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. But um, I'm so glad to talk to you guys. Let me take this off. I'm actually on my way to work. So what's up, guys? Um, I hope you guys are well. And... Um, yeah so my hair is a little bit in a messy bun right now I have the glasses on you know I did the face I tried to do a little something, something with myself but I'm gonna leave the glasses on for the video I hope you guys are okay with that so we're gonna talk about something real quick real quick because I do have to get to work um but uh I think it's important that we talk about this I've got a few messages so I'm sorry if I'm gonna put some of you guys on blast I won't share any names or anything like that but I got three messages about this literally in the same week so I said you know what we need to talk about this so we're gonna talk about it all right I got three messages and um like I said feel free guys feel free I've toyed with the idea of doing like an ask Trish or ask Trisha sort of segment on my channel because I get a lot of questions from you guys and they usually through Instagram um, messaging you guys know that I respond unless you come on come to me with some sideways stuff I would really I really respond to um, all my DMs and I will continue to do that as long as I can um, a lot of you guys contact me on snapchat as well and um, you guys ask me questions you know advice about your personal life or whatever and then I, I give it to you guys so I'd love to do something like that on my channel. If you guys would be interested in doing something like that, then let me know and maybe I can bring that to my channel. Here it is, guys. If he tells you and or shows you, please believe him. It was Maya Angelou that said this. If they show you who they are, believe them. And in many instances, I'm talking about in dating, right? You did, you're dating a guy. Here's the story. Here's the setup. You're dating a guy, and I got this three times this week. You're dating a guy. He's nice. He's he's cute. Yes, honey, got that swag. Yes, he come at you right. Yes, he hit you up with that uh, hello, beautiful morning text message. Hey, that's the first thing you see when you wake up. Yes, he takes you out. He pays for it, honey. And when you sit down one day and you say, ask him, you ask him, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? Um, you know, are you looking for a relationship at this point? Are you just trying to get to know people? What, what is it? What is it you're looking for? And um, I want to tell you guys, a lot of guys are straight up with what they're looking for, right? They will tell you straight up, I'm not looking for a relationship right now. I'm really, you know, just going to take my time, see what's out there. Um... And you know, if, if, if love finds me, it finds me, right? You ever heard that before? And what kills me, this is all in love, by the way, because I've done it too, okay? What kills me is that we somehow create the, our own narrative, our own story about the whole thing. Well, he said if love finds him, almost as if leaving that door open, <clears throat> where we can just see a glimmer of hope, a glimmer of hopes so that we can walk in. If he tells you and or shows you, believe him. He is not looking for a relationship. That was the answer to your question. And if you are, do not waste your time with him. No matter how many attractive qualities he has, no matter how many degrees, no matter how many people he knows, no matter how cute he is, how fine he is, move on. Because inevitably, you will be wasting your time. If it's meant to be, it'll come back around. When he's ready, it'll come back around. Don't wait on him, boo. Move on, there are plenty of fish in the sea. This guy is a classic time waster if he's unable to tell you I'm looking for a relationship I'm looking for uh, a person that is XYZ that I can possibly spend the rest of my life with if you don't hear those words or something similar and that is what you're looking for then sweetie you are wasting your time you are wasting your time and your time is way too precious 
your time is entirely way too precious and a lot of us we like to put our hope and we create our neg we create our own story we create our own narrative and we live in that we swim in that we swim in that we create the story that doesn't exist because ultimately in the beginning and let me tell you how he because some of you guys may ask well how does he show you how he shows you is how he treats you right if he treats you like a second thought if you don't if he if he um only wants to hang out with you at certain times if he only hits you up when it's convenient for him you know if he's not willing to invite you into his life you know what i mean whether it be friends or family or whatever if you don't hear and even this is tricky words that are future tense like you know when we will we will we will we will or i plan to do you know when you're not included in the plans honey um, that, he, that means he doesn't see you in his future. You don't have to be careful with that because there are snakes out there who will sort of give you that messaging and they don't mean it, right? But look at how they treat you. You know what I mean? Are they inclusive in, in your life and their day-to-day -day and their whereabouts? Do you find, constantly feel like you're wondering where he is and what he's doing? First of all, if that's the case, you have too much time on your hands. You gotta find something better to occupy your time. But honestly and truly, guys, um... Honestly and truly, guys, I would say 90% of the time, he will tell you. He will tell you, especially if you ask him. But some of y'all don't even ask. Some of y'all don't even ask because you somewhere deep down inside, you know the answer. And you don't want to hear it. You don't want to have those words hit your ears because if they do, they'll destroy the hope that you created. But what I'm telling you is you do need to ask. You do need to, you do need to hear those words. And you need to let the hope die and move on. And if he's a good man... When he's ready, and at the point in time, he will find his way back, right? But in the meantime, you don't waste your time. Have you guys ever found yourself in a situation like this where he did tell you in the beginning he wasn't looking, and then now when you're ready, he doesn't want to commit, or you find yourself in a situation, you know those? Those where there's no title, you've committed yourself to him, but he's around doing whatever, right? Situationships. And somehow you've convinced yourself that you're in a relationship, but he's acting like he's not because there are no titles and people say, oh, that's not important, Patricia. Can we have a conversation about that? Maybe in another video. Have you ever found yourself, have you ever found yourself in a situ similar situation? Are you in the situation right now? Let it all out in the comment section, guys. But I'm here to tell you, I'm here to tell you, don't waste your time. Move on. There's plenty, there's plenty out there. And they're waiting for you, honey. <laughs> so stop wasting your time, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of The Singles Club. I had to say it. You know why? Because I love you guys. And I still want you guys to hit me up <laughs> in the DMs. Slide into my DMs. Snap me, whatever. I love when you guys actually snap me and actually I get to see you guys' you guys' faces. It's so cool. Snap me, do whatever. Let me know what's going on in your lives. If you need my advice, I'm, I'm here. I'm here to serve you guys. I honestly mean that. So... Yeah, guys. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys Sunday, because this will go up Thursday with another video. Hey, if you like this video, <laughs> subscribe, and don't forget to click like on your way out. I hope you guys are well and good spirits whenever it is that this video meets you, and I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you guys Sunday with another video. And as always, God bless.